Now the fun part. Oh, that was so sick. Hey guys, welcome back to JR Pro Shop Vids. Simu here, and today Jung's gonna be reviewing the brand new Parallax Effect. So to compare the Parallax Effect, we're gonna do a comparison across the Storm Premier line. So we have the Proton Physics and the original Parallax. So today Jungle is gonna be on 41 foot beaten path. It's pretty close to your typical house shot, so you should be able to get a really good look of these balls. So all three balls have the exact same layout. You can see it right here. Should make for a really good comparison and really good progression. So what do we expect? Well, we know the Proton Physics. We know it's an absolute tank, so it's always gonna be the earliest and the most overall. And when we're looking at the parallax effect versus the original parallax, we think that the parallax effect will be a little bit harder off the spot. They'll probably be about similar in length, but the parallax effect might hook a board or two more. So the parallax effect here has the same aeroflow core as the original parallax. So the cover on the original parallax is a Traction X7 hybrid cover stock. And you may remember us talking about how the X7 is actually made up of Storm's highest performing cover stocks. Here with the effect, you're seeing the exact same Traction X7 cover, but this time in a pearl version. Let's head over to the lanes and see if these three balls live up to the premier name. Jungle's back. Parallax effect, baby. Give it a shot. 41 feet. Break point around 10. <laughs> well, that ball hooks. Let's uh, make a couple more move left here. See if we can hit the pocket. And then we'll go to the uh, original parallax. Shiny Sherlock, baby. Here we go. <laughs> That ball is strong, way stronger than I expect. Original on that same line. Threw that one pretty good. Went a little bit further down lane. Swisher seven. Definitely hooks a little bit less. A couple boards. From the two shots I've thrown, a couple boards less the hook. Move to the right. See if we can strike with this. Okay, got it to go flush there. Three right with the feet uh, in comparison to the parallax effect. The effect, the pearl additive in there. Wow, I think hooks. All right, back to the effect. Just struck. Let's go three left. Let's see if we can make this baby bend. <sighs> that ball is strong. As we know, Jimu's got the parallax. Makes that thing corner like crazy down lane. This thing hooks more than that. Corner's harder. Let's go three more left. I have confidence balls in hook already. You know, when you get that far left, it's really hard to make the ball corner like that. Go flush. But this effect really does that. Goes flush from way inside, you know, that's, that's tough. Tough for a ball to do that. Question time with Jungle. So the parallax core, has strategically placed depressions to mimic a weight hole. What do you think of the weight hole rule? The no weight hole rule from the USB-C? Let me know what you think down in the comments. Okay, let's do the original on that line. We might miss the headband to the right here, boys. <laughs> I think that was pretty close to the same line. Just uh, started up a little bit later and didn't hook as much. Left the 2810 there. The unsparable 2810. Well, at least I've never picked it up. Premier line comparison here. The high end balls from Storm. We got the Proton Physics.
Storm sure knows what they're doing there. Even though they discontinued my Omega. Jung likes the ball, they discontinued. Jung says he likes the ball, it's gone. Next month, idle, gone. Omega, gone. The ideal line there, 18 at the arrows, 10-ish at the break point. All three balls hit the pocket. Some went through the pins really well, some not really. We're gonna move seven boards right with my feet, keep the break point the same, and uh, we'll see what happens. Take my hand out of it a little bit, see if we can hit the pocket. so sick. <laughs> okay, same line as the Pronon with the parallax effect here. A lot longer, much more snappy, and harder to control when you're going straight at the boards like this because it goes longer and snaps harder. So. I actually like that shot off my hand, but as you can see, as soon as it hit the dry, it took off left. Right? That's what those shiny balls are going to do. As soon as it touches the dry, they're going to take off. Or something like the Proton, it's got some surface on it. It's not gonna take off as hard when it hits the dry board. So that's why playing straighter, shiny balls, not a very good idea. All right, this one should look a bit better because as we've seen before, a little bit longer, a little bit smoother. It's just a much better reaction playing that line with that ball, right? So you gotta play straighter, Proton, Parallax. We gotta move in, Parallax effect for sure. Speaking of moving in, now the fun part. Back to the show. All right, jungle's back from the lanes after throwing the parallax effect. Oh my God, this ball snaps. It's crazy. I was not expecting that. Well, not to that degree anyway. Did the premier line, Proton, and the original parallax against the parallax effect. Uh, Proton, obviously earlier, smoother, covers a ton of boards, uh, but this was almost as equal in boards covered, right? Just a much, much different shape. Parallax effect got down the lane really easy and then made a left turn without a signal. So with that being said, the further left I got with the parallax effect, the better it looked. On the fresh, it's probably not gonna look too great. That's where you're gonna throw the Proton or like the Rubicon or something like that. And then when those start burning up, rolling a bit too early, not as continuous as you'd like, then you go down to the parallax effect or the parallax. As you can see, it gets on the lane nice and easy, but just doesn't hook as hard as the parallax effect. Definitely a spot for all three of these in your bag if you're bowling on heavy oil, longer patterns, and you need three different options for that. These three are gonna be really good. No overlapping here. So good job by Storm on that. But uh, they did discontinue my Omega Crux. I'm a little bit sad. So like I said, best patterns possible, like heavier volume, medium lengths, 41 plus. Long patterns, 44, 45, this ball is really gonna be good. Something like shorter patterns, 37, 36, this ball is just gonna be too hard off the spot. It's gonna be too sharp off the dry. There's gonna be too many dry boards down lane. So as soon as this ball exits the pattern, it's gonna wanna kick left. So something like 37 feet, you're gonna have a really tough time controlling this thing. So uh, something for that, you're gonna want something smoother, a little bit more predictable, but if you're going longer oil, or when the lanes are burning up in a tournament, eight games, and you gotta move into the middle of the lane where the, all the oil is, this ball is really gonna be good, really gonna shine there. Jungle thinks the ideal bowler for something like this is uh, definitely a tournament bowler. We're gonna need all sorts of shapes and lengths in your bag. Uh, this is gonna be really long and really snappy it's really gonna fill a hole there if you need that but also if you're just a casual like league bowler bowl a couple of tourneys a year uh, i think this would be really good for someone with a little bit lower rev rate a little bit lower speeds and you have a little bit trouble opening up your angles later in the day later in league later in tournaments uh this ball is really gonna help you do that it's really gonna get down the lane nice and easy and it's really gonna kick left hard so i think it would really be helpful to bowlers like that all right last but definitely not least jungles graph is back we're gonna do two different graphs here we're gonna do one with all the 
current balls, and then we're gonna do Jung's six ball lineup that he would bring if the pattern was unknown. So let's check those out. So as you can see, it's right next to the Proton Physics, uh, just a little bit longer down lane, similar amount of boards covered, but much, much sharper. And the Parallax here is gonna be of equal length to the Parallax effect, but definitely smoother shape down lanes. So as you can see on my graph, all with the same layout, you can really see easily how they compare to each other and the progression that they would follow during a tournament or league session. So out of the JR Pro Shop team here, uh, if I were to give this ball to one of our guys, it would be Simu. As I'd mentioned, a little bit slower ball speed, a little bit lower rev rate. And when he has to get into the middle of the lane, he has trouble kicking out that 10. So I think this ball would be really good for him. So maybe we'll see him throw it in the upcoming bid or so. Thanks for watching everyone. Stay tuned for our next video, Honey Badger Intensity. And we're gonna throw a little Zen as well. Can't wait for that.